guys, Tal here. Welcome back to a little Snake RX. We're hunting our first ever win. Still, I am... I think I've spoiled you guys in the past, where I would play games only after having played them in my own time for dozens of hours beforehand. So hopping into a new game is a totally different experience. And what I'm hoping to get out of this is delayed gratification, at least as far as the video goes. I'm hoping that the losses and all the losses that it may be while we're still learning can make the inevitable win only that much sweeter. But that's the idea behind the whole thing. I'm hoping to have a lot of fun in the meantime. I'm gonna take a cleric because I like cl cl clerics. Admittedly, this is bad that I have only one attacker, but it's wave two or round two. So it surely can't be that bad. We'll just have to take a little extra longer. And actually, if I want, I could probably just ram the enemies and let my cleric heal them up. The important thing is that I'm learning a, a little bit every step of the way. Just learning about like what stuff does and whether or not it's powerful. So I, I think that's nice at least. Learning about swarmers was certainly interesting. I still think that run could have won if I had actually paid attention the entire time. I feel like that's one of the hardest things for me. Just paying attention and not getting too bored to the point where I start dozing off. Because, I mean, this is a long game. This isn't Landlord where you're going to beat it in 20 minutes and then start the next one. And you can have pause breaks in between. This is like a 45 minute game, if I had to guess, all the way through. I haven't, you know, beat it all the way through, so it's just a guess. And it's 45 minutes where you have to constantly focus and make sure you don't accidentally steer your snake into a crowd. Which is not my forte. I, I gen generally get bored before the 45 minute mark. So any, any of my attempts at commentary are... Basically me trying to give it 110% to try to stay interested and I don't know what kind of build I want to go for I do want to do something similar like how I did with the swarmers where it's just a focused build Just for the sake of trying out class energy because it's fun But I mean you can never predict that ahead of time. You don't know what you're gonna get. There's a lot of luck involved So when enemies hit walls, they create an area based on the knockback force They create an area an area that does what? Damage? Hopefully. That's the most likely thing. I don't know. Projectiles that chain gain damage with each chain? Wait, I have enchant- I don't have an enchanter. Do I have anything that chains? Wait, I do have an enchanter. Whenever an enchanter is hit, we get damage to all allies. I didn't realize the squire was an enchanter. This is actually really good. So whenever the squire gets hit, other allies get more damage. Seems good to me. I might just chill here, save a little money. Just try to level stuff up. So, when it says gets hit, I hope that includes my intentional running into enemies, because I did that to power up my other units. Like, I'm just letting that sit in the front and kind of face tank everything, and then hope the clear heals it up eventually. That was... I accidentally pressed the wrong button there. I, I'm hoping it does that so my other allies become stronger, and I don't know whether or not it worked, because you can't tell the exact HP amounts. You just have to hope that worked, and... I mean, we did well, so maybe that's a good sign. See, I, I will keep kamikazing that squire, without a doubt. Let's take a barbarian. I have no rogue, but uh, is warrior and rogue? I don't know, I might as well. They're both worth two. It's not terrible. Maybe I could build some sort of synergy around warrior. The warrior getting more HP is actually very important to me. So I could have this face tank more things. I, I'm just going to go off the idea that it does work when I face tank. And I will choose to just keep face tanking them. Now, I know when it dies, the units do lose damage and HP, but honestly, that's fine. Because I'm hoping that the... I, I, don't, I don't know how to call this. I'm hoping that the buff it gets, like the 2% buff to all units every time it hits, gets hit, persists after it dies. Now, if that's not the case, then I guess maybe I should be a little careful with it, but I'm going to keep running it into it. Kamikaze strats. We just go merchant. I don't need to go miner. We could look for, yeah, I mean, you know, level up cleric. I want this pyromancer. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of archer. Take the pyromancer. I want to put him near the front because I'm going to face tank a lot of things. Oh, never mind. The area of its damage is actually huge. I was thinking it would actually be localized entirely within our kitchen, but it's actually, it, it covers the whole snake. It's pretty good. So I was hoping, like, I could face tank stuff with the with the enchanter, and then <laughs> have the small area deal damage with the whatever thing I just got. But no, we're just good regardless. And I, I would like to hope that the AoE damage also increases every time we face tank something. 
defensive stance is incredible. It again just feeds this strategy I have going of face taking. Let's take some clerics. Just hoard money, get interest. You know how it goes. It'd be cool if I could like see how much extra damage I've accumulated. Oh, my um thing died. Rip. That's fine. I wish I could see how much. Just to, like, know if it's maybe, like, doubling in power or something crazy in, in that vein. Because I'm face tanking so much right now. It's crazy. It's fun, too. Like, it's healed up already thanks to that healer. Let's just have it do a little bit more. It is a shame to not have the Pyromancer. Seems it's just gotten lucky that that got hit. I should start being a little careful right now. To be honest, maybe I could put the Pyromancer in the back, actually. If I wanted to have more HP, it'll probably stay alive then. Also, let's not completely die. Let's let's hang back a little. Because I, I don't think the Pyromancer, actually... Yeah, I, I don't want that to die. I'll maybe move it to the back. The backmost position rarely gets hit. Show me the Cleric. Let's move you back here. I think I can get away with Greed once again. Actually, no. I'm going to level up Payback. Because it's now more than twice as strong. So there's another added bonus to this. Is that we don't accidentally kill an enemy before my sorcerer runs into them. Because it's just at the edge there. Which is such a minor thing, but it's... Son of a bitch! <laughs> okay, so it... <laughs> it's just weak. It has low HP. Even with the bonus HP. I could level up the thing that gives more HP. I could. And it wouldn't be bad. I mean, that was such a bad turn. I didn't expect it to exactly go like that. <laughs> Alright, let's focus on staying alive right now. We have a couple things that are very low. And I would like that to not completely ruin us. Alright, so it's going to be second from the back. Second from the back is probably the most safe spot. It'll be like right next to the healer I lost. Eh, nothing too uh, big of a deal. I still have my good unit. Like, the damage has to be massive, right? No, it's not. We're not one-shotting. Unless if I'm reading this wrong, I feel like I should be getting massively scaling damage, but I'm not. So, I don't know what to make of all this. I really don't. Either way, I mean, we're fine. Saboteur. I don't know, we could reroll for something higher. I mean, clerics are still good. Spell blades. Spell blade seems pretty good. We could try to go for that instead of, like, an arcanist. Alright, I'm going to... Get rid of Sorcerer, add in Spellblade. Next wave's hard, so let's at least level up something. That works. If I can get the last Cleric, that'd be amazing. Am not getting it. That's a shame. All right, well, we'll hope for the best. Hopefully this hard wave doesn't ruin me. And let's start face tanking. You know the drill. Beautiful. I mean, we're off to a decent start at least. I keep running away. I don't know why. Must be because I'm a coward. That has to be it, I'm sure. It's because I can't see myself face taking everything permanently. Because I, I want to keep my face taker alive for a while if I can help it too. Also, the AoE isn't it doesn't even. Oh, okay, it's just my. No, that's the AoE thing. Damn it! It's a glass cannon. I was gonna say it doesn't even deal that much damage, and it doesn't. It's not even that good. All right, well, I have, to, I have to chill right now. Because, frankly, I don't even have that much damage left. All my damage is... Oh, God, I do not like that spawn area. That was so unfortunate for me. But we do get out of it. Yeah, we don't have that much of a damage deal anymore. We just have face tanking and chilling. And keep face tanking. I'm probably going to lose it soon. I would prefer not to, so I can maintain the higher damage and health. Um, I probably lost another thing that I would have liked to keep. I think I can win with face tanking, though. I think I can. Let's go. Every wave. <laughs> Every wave, this all just goes super weak. Uh, warriors... Ooh, warriors gain a percentage of defense every five seconds. That's insanely good with my strategy, because it directly synergizes with this kamikaze strat I'm going for. I probably also want some damage. This thing keeps dying, <laughs> and I'm trying to kamikaze... So, I guess this just isn't the, the way. Yeah, it, it breaks my heart to get rid of this. Because it's, you know, a tier 3 unit. But I'm going to take a rogue over it so I can get rogue synergy. Dude, what if this doesn't stack? I don't know. I'm going to continue to believe that 
it works the way I thought it did, where it can just infinitely scale. But I can't say for sure. At least I got the cleric. And maybe I can roll once more for a four cost thing. Hey, it's a four cost thing. It's a warrior too. That's way better than barbarian. Okay, this was best case scenario, I think. So we'll hope that this is good enough. Because I got cool warrior synergy, a little bit of rogue synergy in there too. Mages are probably going to be the next thing to go. So a warrior rogue. Oh god, yeah, my mage is weak. <laughs> my warriors are the strong ones here. They have so much HP. And I mean, Juggernaut's massive damage whenever it deals. And I do get up close and personal with the enemies frequently, so it will be doing its thing. Maybe it can scale a little bit, but maybe for each warrior that gets hit, it can deal that extra damage? That's the one downside of not being able to see the numbers. I don't truly know what's going on. I can only hypothesize. And I didn't see that that was exploding there. Uh, it's okay, though. It was the thing that was going to die anyway. I should try to keep on my first unit alive right now. Because it does give a passive 20% buff to attack speed and damage. You know, as much as I love face taking with it, I can't forget about that added bonus to it. Which is a very strong bonus, mind you. You know what? I kind of want to go Silencer. I want to get rid of Spellblade. Sure, I lose Rogue Synergy, but Silencer is just so good. The curses on the enemies is one of the most useful things to me. That way, certain enemy types that just bum rush you can't bum rush you if they get cursed. And I've used it a couple times, and every time I removed it, I immediately lost afterwards. So I've decided that this is just going to be a thing worth keeping. Oop, I forgot the bum rush. How silly of me. A little bit of face tanking, and it's got a bit more HP. <laughs> that spawned on top of me? It's okay though, the thing I lost was the merchant. That's why I moved it there, I'm like, that spot is, um, I don't care if it dies. And, yeah, it was the merchant. It's the second position that seems to take a lot of damage. Yeah, no regrets at all. And we're almost done with this. Can I dodge it? I can. I'm getting a little better at dodging that thing. Oh, okay. We again lost our second position, but again, it's it didn't attack, and all the units are basic units, so it's not even impactful. We kept all our damage dealers and healers alive. Might have to get rid of the merchant with how things are going, because, I don't know. I could replace it with the usurer. 13 damage per second. That's not even that great. Take a Squire for sure. Although, Cursor though. Uh, cursor duration, that, that's gotta be better than Mercenary. It's an elite fight too. I mean, this is certainly better. Will I still try to look for more things to try to level up? I mean, I could get Silencer and Outlaw. So that leads me to believe yes. Sure, I'll take another Silencer. All right, let's take the elite fight on. So I think I really want to level up the Juggernaut. So maybe what needs to be done is I simply need to level up my shop. I lost the second position again. It's unavoidable. I just run straight at them. Of course, I'm going to take some HP loss. And you know what? Okay, I, I went a little bit. I got a little bit ahead of myself there. Let's uh, finish this off. <laughs> as soon as I killed the elite, I'm like, oh, there's no possible way I could lose this. Ooh, secondary AoEs. I have good AoEs, right? I have Highlander. I'll take Echo Barrage. Yeah, sure. Ooh, Outlaw leveled up. Let's go. Oh, AoE damage. I could get rid of the Usur. I'm not too impressed by and just get a Vulcanist. I'll level up the shop and then roll once. Plague Doctor is interesting. Depending on whether or not it counts as a true AoE. So, very interesting build I have going on here. I did not, in my wild streams, expect to be intentionally taking damage, but it's probably what I'm good at. The only thing I need is a little bit better healing, because the second position is brutal. You know, it's... It, yeah, it's, it's never... The second position never survives. It's crazy. I try to hit him head-on, but if I'm slightly off with the head-on, then the second position takes some damage. But it's fine. I just lost an AoE damage dealer. It's totally okay. And I think it's technically more important that I don't lose my first unit. Because, again, that one has a very nice buff. 
Ooh, that time it just took it head on. And we should be good. I'm bringing it home. Dual gunner I'll take. Warden? No. Wait, maybe. Creates a force field around a random unit that prevents enemies from entering. Mm, do I want that with my strategy? I don't know. There's too much I don't quite understand about how it will actually play out for me to take it. It's too unsure. Okay. Son of a bitch. I don't know. Maybe I could have taken it. It would have saved the unit there. I think I'm just accepting that that unit dies instantly now. There's no way around it. Actually, not gonna lie, maybe I should put my um, my current second unit into the second position right now. Because it's not that bad. And plus it has a lot of HP, I've noticed. HP is doing pretty good. So yeah, that lasts a lot longer in the second unit position than the other one, so... It's just, you know, the third unit might get a little sketch. And let me let this heal up. There we go, we're good now. Back to the grind, and ooh, 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 let that heal up. There we go. Continue on that. Yeah, just keep healing it up a little bit longer, and then I'll go in. And plus, the other thing about it is that it doesn't even deal damage. Sure, it has a very powerful effect, but if it dies halfway through a level, it's not that bad. So I'll try it. Silencer here. Another Squire, let's go. So level three shop, so I should be seeing some stuff I like here. Yeah, I'll take a Vulcanist. A couple more. It's a hard wave, so I want to spend a little. I think Blade is better than Vulcanist. The reason being one is a warrior, and warriors have a lot of buffs. And the second is that I think the damage is at least close enough to justify. Yeah, I'd rather go Blade. And I'll reroll once more. Silencer, sure. All right, let's take it on. Maybe if I can't find warriors in the future... I should find, or just invest my money into the items for the warriors, because they're so good. The, the items are the reason why we're in this. Maybe I could even have a warrior in second position, since it's known to have more HP. And I have a thing that will just give it HP every 12 seconds. Okay, the blade is insane. I'm glad I took the blade. Dude, the blade is sick. Okay, this warrior run could go to the moon. Uh, let me keep that alive. There we go. This is the perfect thing to have with the priest as well. Actually, we don't have a priest. We have a cleric, which is functioning like a priest. Whew, a little spicy there. All good, though. Everything's just kind of getting evenly low. That's supposed to be good for my priests. I keep going to the priest. You know what I mean. Priest, cleric, same thing in Tyler speak. Let's just have you run around a little while longer, steal some AoE, and wipe out this final wave, which hopefully won't be too bad. The face tanking shall continue. Ooh, stay alive for a little while longer, why don't you? There we go, we should be good. Okay, this is really coming together. Ah, last unit alive, don't care. Area size is fantastic. So, I was under the opinion that this was like the area of the map for the longest time, but I realize it's actually AoE damage. That's direct synergy with me for sure. I'm gonna keep the silencer here because it stayed alive, but what I'm gonna do is level up my Unwavering Stance twice, and then I'll chill. Unwavering Stance is so good. 12% tw additional HP every five seconds. Sounds so good. It's just basically another priest for what it's worth. Another cleric. I mean, five seconds, sure, that's a bit of a long time, but but there's so many periods of five seconds over the course of a level. I couldn't possibly go wrong. It's just encouraging me to face tank. It says you'll never die. Why bother stopping? It's so good! <laughs> uh, the blade is good as well. The next thing I'll just level up is the thing that gives everything more damage whenever a sorcerer gets hit. Or enchanter? Can't remember the... Yeah, enchanter. And then we'll be good. Oh, I could also then level up the first and last things have more HP next. Just so my front thing can face tank even more because the face tanking is ridiculous here. I don't even have to think right now. Still, I cannot let my guard down. I cannot. As strong as this is, I'm not letting my guard down. 
Yeah, you know what? Let's level this up. And then I'll save my gold again. Who needs more things? Just gonna keep leveling up items. I think that's all that needs to happen. I mean, if I happen to come across another Juggernaut or Highlander or whatever they're called, yeah, of course I'll take it. But don't need to force it. Don't need to force it at all. Mm. We do take damage a lot more easily now, though. It seems that face tanking does get a lot weaker in the higher waves. It just seems like after wave... I don't know which wave, like 15 or so? The enemy scaling of HP and damage just gets so much higher. Exponentially so compared to the earlier waves. Oops. And I mean, I guess that's to be expected, but it, it catches me off guard every time. Ooh, get me out of there. Our second unit almost died. I won't let you. I might let you. Yeah, you know, you're not that important. You're important, don't get me wrong, but you're not... Mm, are you that important? I don't know. Like, I keep going back and forth in my own mind as to whether I want a warrior there or if I want the silencer there. The silencer has so much HP. It's strange that it actually died, to be honest. Alright, let's up our defensive stance. And again, it's an elite fight. I think I'll be alright. Okay, let's see. How do we do here? We just bully around the elite a little bit. It's nice. Okay, I see. Alright, that was a damage dealer. That was possibly... Okay, it wasn't my best damage dealer. It was just an okay damage dealer. I'm alright in that case. Yeah, because the blade is the one we want to keep alive. Study the blade. Worship the blade. And then, of course, we want to keep our front unit alive, which it's barely doing. We also want to keep our priest alive, which, thankfully, we're also doing with that in the back. <gasps> Shit. Okay. Ooh, I almost steered that terribly. Hey, we're going to get a blade attack soon. Thank you. Appreciate it. I need a little bit more healing for my own sake. And by a little, I mean a lot more healing. Although the damage, or the HP has to be stacking very well right now. And we take it out. Creates an error that pulls enemies in for a second on sorcerer spell repeat. Doesn't happen. Position 4 has plus 30% damage. That is my... You know, I'll move blade to position 4. And then that will be perfect. Again, I'm just going to keep leveling this stuff up. Yeah, Echo Barrage is pretty good. Secondary AoEs. I think I'll level this up all the way. 30% chance to create 3 additional AoEs. Sounds pretty good over the course of things. Then I could level my shop up and maybe try to get higher tier units. Which, don't get me wrong, is very, very, very good thing to have. It's also not necessary. Right now. Oh god, <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. Woo, boy. So, when the orange things charge you, it's really bad. So what needs to happen is that I need to kill the orange things before they kill me. They basically one-shot you if they get the chance to build up damage. So, I will not let them do such a thing. Ooh, let's stay alive though right now, why don't we? Yeah, let's. Just focus down on the orange things. Yeah, not today, Satan. And because we're doing that, we're pretty well off. And we still have the silencer. Silencer can do great things. Whoa! -ho -ho! That chained three times. That's beautiful. I love it. It's level 20. Ooh, level 20. Uh, am I really that scared of level 20? Even though I died to it twice? No, I'm not. I will be brave. It doesn't even say hard next to it. I think I just screwed up royally on level 20 in the past, and this time I won't do such a thing. Hopefully. Yeah, I will be just fine as long as I play smartly. Still, if there's any orange or yellow things, we target those. Those are the most deadly to me. Oh god, bad place to spawn. Oh, I lost my... Actually, not my healer, just the damage dealer. It's also one of my weaker damage dealers, so I really don't mind. Yeah, like, the priest has extra HP back there. Sorry, cleric. Extra HP back there, so we're fine. I guess I should consider replacing that with a warrior if I get the chance. Because I, I think it's just a dual gunner, right? Dual gunner's not even that good. Hey, let's get out of here. You've taken enough damage for one round. Heal up a little, get yourself your 12%. Alright, we can go back into battle now. Yeah, back into battle, and we hide for a bit. Maybe kite the enemies if possible, make things last as long as they can, so I can 
take extra time to heal up. It's wave seven. Wave seven is not what I'm worried about. It's wave eight. Wave eight's the scary one. Dude, you know what I need? I need the thing that makes enemies explode when I knock them into walls. Because I'm bullying them really hard right now. I, if I could just bully them into walls, that'd be beautiful. Wave 20 defeated. My new best. Let's go. Hell, I'll take another silencer. Was it do level 3? Oh, yeah. It deals more damage. That's pretty good. And then I will reroll looking for ways to level up. I'll take the dual gunner. Why not? I did say I wanted to replace with a warrior, but you see not a f juggernaut. So here's what I'll do. I'll take my defensive stance. And I can't get this, unfortunately. So I guess I will reroll all the way through now. Did get a blade at least. I mean, that's a fine way to spend your money. Let's see. Let's see if this hard wave bests me. Hey, I beat wave 20. I, I beat my new best. If I lose now, I won't be too pissed. Oh no! I, I lied. <laughs> I'd be very pissed. You know what? I'm not gonna say Juggernaut was the play because I don't think it was, but this was impressively bad. <laughs> I thought warriors were supposed to be strong. I, I tried to ram all the orange ones. I was talking about how, yeah, you know, I should target them so I don't die. You know, so they don't have a chance to charge up. But there were so many! So this build actually gets hard countered by oranges. Thing is, though, I also had something to counter the oranges. I had the silencer. I was hoping to silence them and then hit the rest of them and kill them first. But even with all the preparation, it just wasn't it. Hey, new best. I don't know what I'm going to do about wave 21. I have to find a way different strategy than what I've been doing so far to beat those orange things. I hate orange things so much. And I hope they die, but I have to figure out how to beat them. So wish me luck in that. I'll see you guys all in the next episode and have a wonderful day. Peace.